But lockdown was crazy. Did you guys have a good lockdown? Yeah, yeah, yeah we have money. It's fine. <laughs> Here in Switzerland, it was good. I just sat at home in my mansion. Yeah, it was, it was hard for the rest of the world, you know? The rest of the world, like me, I had to finish Netflix. Um, I had to start baking. Uh, I had to stay in shape, so I started watching these influencers with their ridiculous at-home workout videos where they're like, oh, just lift a can of Coke seven times and you'll get ripped. <laughs> I hated it. Hated it. And this is, you couldn't watch sports. There's no more sports. So you had to watch coronavirus updates like it was the Olympics. You know, you, you see, like, you're looking at your country, comparing it to them. You're like, I, I knew we'd do better than them. <laughs> Piece of crap country. And I went back to America where I thought I would be safe. <laughs> Yeah, that did not work out at all. Dodge coronavirus and bullets went on there. So I was, I was like, look, I'm watching the coronavirus and then Italy was peaking at the time with all their cases and the world wanted to help. They're like, well, send them some masks, send them some money. And even Pornhub wanted to do their part and Pornhub decided to make Pornhub premium free for Italians. <laughs> But the only way you could get it if you were in Italy at the time, now it's available for everyone, but you could only get it if you were in Italy. So I wanted to do my part, so I downloaded a VPN and <laughs> changed my location to Italy so I could suffer with them. Three times a day I was suffering. It was, it was so tragic. And when you're, when you're a man and you're alone in isolation too long, you just watch porn. That becomes your default activity. What do we do today? We'll watch a new program. And you have unlimited options. And I became addicted to porn. Uh, and I needed to switch the addiction with something else. I have addictive personality, so I switch with something else. Maybe that will help. Decided to learn German. Because I live in Germany, and I don't want to be the expat that everyone has to switch to English for. Because of that one asshole. Like, you're having fun, you're speaking German. And then Mike, Michael comes along. Hi! And everyone's got to switch. Oh, hello. And then you go back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and Michael's just sitting, I no longer wanted to be Michael. So I thought, let me learn German. And I found a teacher and we started talking every day. And I, f I felt better because she basically became like my therapist. I was telling her everything, <laughs> everything. I was like, ich habe jedes Tag masturbiert. She's like, ah, 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 ich habe jeden Tag masturbiert. Danke schön. Jeden Tag masturbiert ist nicht so gut. And she says, what you, what you need? is connection. You need to find someone you could talk to every day so you have a good verbindung. So you need a language exchange partner. That's how you develop your English. You get a language exchange partner and there's an app called Tandem which you can download to find a language exchange partner and there's all these cute girls on there. All these cute girls. And there's this girl named Laura from Stuttgart, a small village outside of Stuttgart, and she wrote back. But none of the other girls wrote back because they get bombarded by messages from dudes who are in India who are trying to teach them English. And they're like, you're in India, doesn't matter, I speak it good, teach you anyway. And so, so one girl finally writes back and I'm like, yes! Small village outside of Stuttgart. Every German I meet is from a small village outside of Stuttgart for some reason. And we're chatting, we're going back and forth. She's teaching me phrases, you know, like, auf Wiedersehen. I'm teaching her phrases like, peace, bro, you know? developing a connection. This is great. Someone to talk to on lockdown. We speak for five minutes English, five minutes German, back and forth every day. Started talking about ex-boyfriends and girlfriends. And then eventually we realized we had some chemistry. And then the first nude was exchanged. Mm -hmm. Don't pretend like you're not the only one that got horny during lockdown. I know damn well some of you sent nudes to ex-boyfriends and you regretted it, but you did it. And I was sending news and she would send me some, but I'm thinking like, oh no, this is gonna make me watch porn again. So I'm thinking maybe I could just use this as a learning opportunity. So she sends me like a photo and I'm like, was ist das? She's like, oh, das? Brust. Like, okay, was ist das? She's like, oh, das? Brustwatzen. Like, yeah. German's not very good for sexy talk. Right? I don't know how you people do it to you. I mean, sweet your dude is not even better, you know? Just pull out your junk and just, grootsy! <laughs> it's just disgusting. Don't clap for that, it's gross. 
I don't know how you do it. Like it's just you know like and maybe maybe if you're dominating and you're giving it from behind, you're like shut up, then it sounds good. But if you're if you're trying to seduce, like come here and lick my brush back. <laughs> Nine, okay. So my whole goal with this girl now, I've kind of lost my life purpose because I was doing shows all the time. And I thought, well, now I kind of have a, sort of like a new purpose, which is to learn German uh, and then also to make a porn with this girl. Um, because, I mean, I had nothing else to do. So the borders opened up. And then my whole goal, 2020, was to shoot a German porn with this girl in a small village outside of Stuttgart. That's all, I, that's all I had to do. I didn't have anything else. I don't have a real job like you. Don't judge me. So I show up and we go on a first date and my plan immediately starts to unravel because I realized this girl is like quite German, like super German, like follow the rules kind of German. And similar to Swiss people, like we must follow the rules. And so I was like, I don't know if she's gonna be into like shooting like a porn porn. So we go to the movie theaters and there's two people sitting in our seats and she says, oh, we have to ask them to move. I was like, what about one of the other 400 seats in this theater? And she's like, oh no, those are the rules. We must follow them because of coronavirus. Like, um, okay, I'll go talk to them. I was like, Jesus. But then I realized something like, Germans, they have weird cultural rules that I'm still getting used to. Like, for example, if you're in an elevator in Germany, you have to say goodbye to someone who you've never met. It's the oddest thing in the world. Like I was in an elevator, I'm by myself, one guy gets in, he gets off of his floor and he goes, ciao! Awesome. <laughs> Do we have a conversation that I didn't know about? Like what is this? And every time it happens, ciao, tschüss, tschüssi. And then the other thing is like, when you get into a sauna, same thing. It's like you have to say hello. Like everyone's sweating, dick out, dying, suffocating. <laughs> Hello, 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 hello. Do you guys all know each other? Is this a, is this a team meeting? What, like, shh, there's no talking. You sit down, you shut up, you sweat. Strange rules. But Germans, when there's no rules, they go absolutely mental. Like driving on the Autobahn. They go crazy. Have you ever driven on an Autobahn with Germans? They go nuts. Everyone's following 50 kilometers an hour. Oh, we follow the rules, 50 kilometers an hour. Then they get to 80, oh, hot sick, oh, here we go. And then there's a sign, you can go as fast as you want, and they just take off to, <laughs> to soccer moms with eight kids in the back, like, moment the loser, loser! <laughs> there's no rules, we can go as fast as we want. <laughs> and then it's 80 again, they're like, rules. But pretty soon, there's going to be no rules. <laughs> so I was like, all right. I finally had to wake up the courage, make up the, work up the courage to ask this girl. And we're getting a spinach salad, Hans and Gluck, sitting there. And I asked her, I was like, Lagua. So what do you think about us, like, making a porn, you know? And she's like, oh, I don't know. You know, I have a job, unlike you. And, uh, <laughs> You know, I don't, I don't want to, you know, I don't want anyone to see me. I was like, well, you know, we, we sent nudes during lockdown. She's like, yes, that was lockdown, and we did what we had to do. Uh, but this is a little bit different, so... I was like, what about no faces? As a rule, no faces. She's like, okay. <laughs> Let's do it. I was like, you sure? She's like, yeah. I was like, all right, we gotta come up with a theme. Like, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I was like, I don't know. I'm wearing Lado Holza, and you gotta find the bratwurst. Like, what do we do? <laughs> She's like, okay, that's a good one. I was like, oh, no, no, we just do like language exchange. Like, you're bad English, you mess up some grammar, and then I gotta spank you, we start going for it. She's like, that's not a very good storyline. I was like, it's porn, it doesn't have to be good. What are you talking about here? We're just supposed to have starving sex. So we made a plan. She's like, okay, next Friday, 7 p.m. I was like, oh, great. And I show up early, so she'll be turned on by my punctuality, you know? <laughs> get in there, and we start going for it, set up the camera and everything, getting ready, you know? Pull out the sweatpants, just whoosh. And I noticed she's got a tampon to drink still in. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's crazy. When a woman's on her period, the man's first thought is like, all right, is it finishing? Or did it just start? <laughs> so I asked her, I was like, how, how bad is it? Is it like Is it tick, tick, tick. Wie viel Blut? She's like, oh, it's just ending, it's this bye bye. I was like, okay, well then let's go. I can't run, Ross! I'm thinking she's gonna go to the bathroom. No, she's, she just stands up, she's just like, 
<laughs> Throws it right into the can. Uh, ich bin bereit. It's like, ich not. Uh, <laughs> so we went, so we go, I go to get the condom and I realize I forgot them, the condom. She gives me one of her ex, one of her partners that she's still dating. Philip, oh, you can use Philip's. We don't use them anymore. So she gives me Philip's condom and it's this triple like XL, like the big magnum ones. They're ginormous. I was like, is this a condom or a kite? Like, look how big. What am I supposed to do with this thing? Is this a condom or like leggings? How am I supposed to put this thing on? She's like, yours is good canook. I was like, oh, thanks. So I put it on, this thing sagging. I was like, do you have a blow dryer so we can shrink wrap this thing or what? She's like, oh, it should be fine. So then we start going for it, and we're filming ourselves, so it's like, you know, super dramatic, like, Oh, yeah! Oh, shit! This is me, by the way. <laughs> oh, yeah! Oh! Take this big black dick! You know, we're going back and forth, and then she's really athletic, so she takes her legs and she puts them by her ears, you know? And I got kind of competitive. I was like, you're not going to outdo me in my own video, so I start doing, like, a one-hand push-up. I'm like, <laughs> We're going back and forth, like, Oh, yeah! I was like, please, no, no, German. And then she, and then she gets on top and she's just going for it. She's like, ah, oh, yeah, oh, oh. And so I'm with this girl, and she's, English is not her first language, but she's trying to do dirty talk anyway, in English. And she's just like, ah, oh, feels so good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Glad you like it. She's like, you're going to need a bucket and or a mop for this wet and gushy. <laughs> Keep going, keep going. And I don't know if she meant to say this or it slipped out. And she says, in your life matters. <laughs> it does matter. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. She's like, she's just going for it. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, oh. Super fast, so fast that the condom flies off. <laughs> like she had a Staubsauger in her, in her vagina. <laughs> just flew off. And when a condom flies off, men, you, men usually know, but they wonder, does she know? <laughs> and you have to say something, otherwise, but you do get a grace period. You get, to get like a couple seconds, and then you're a criminal. So you have to say something. So she's like, oh, oh, and it was gone. I'm like, I'm like shit. I was like, one, oh, two, and chew the gunzi. Um, it's like, das condom is verloren. <laughs> she's like, what? I was like, stop yelling. The condom, the, the condom came off. She's like, oh, oh. Oh, did you? Uh, good? I was like, no, I haven't good coming yet. No, no, nicht. Although good coming, coming ich komme in German, but in sweet to do it. Ich Ich So like, I haven't. No, come here. She's like, okay, good, good, good. I'm not on the pill. I'm like, you're not on the pill. She's like, no, no, no. I was like, free range, bo. She's like, yeah. She's like, okay. I was like, do you want to try to get it? So we keep going. She's like, yeah, okay. So she hops off. I'm thinking she's gonna go to the bathroom. No, she's just like, oh, eh, no, I just can't get it. I was like, do you want me to try? I got longer fingers. She's like, have you washed your hands yet? I said, yeah, yeah, of course. Of course I wash my hands. She's like, no, 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 no. This happened to a friend of mine, Sarah. I know exactly what to do. I give her a phone call. She gets her phone and she's like, Hello, Sarah. Hi. Yes. Hi. How are you? No. Yeah. I'm just having sex right now, um, and I, I lost the condom inside. Yeah. This happened to you and Marcus. Mm hmm. Yeah. Was soll ich machen? Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. No. Seine Schwanzbrüste nicht so groß. Aber ja. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. I'll call you later. Okay. Bye. Tschüssi. Tschüss. And then I see her get into a squat position like this. And then she just starts going. <coughs> She's like, oh, he's got it. And I realized this whole time the cameras were still rolling. <laughs> so not only did I shoot a porn, I shot an at home workout video. And I was like, there's gotta be something good in here, something good with all that dramatic, you know? And whenever you, you, when you film yourself, you think it's gonna be the most amazing romantic thing ever. It doesn't matter how good your stroke is. When I went to edit this, I looked like a penguin. I'm just, <laughs> I looked so stupid. 
<laughs> I look so dumb. And I, I look so dumb that I never made a porn again or watch porn. And it's been, it's been three days. So thank you so much for coming to Surrey Party. <laughs>